Shalom Akim. This is 1 Samuel 16 and 14, verse 13, matter of fact. It said, Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and the evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. All praise and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, which is in the name of Yahweh Shai, which is the name of his son, by Hashem in the name Raha Kodash, the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, and, um, you know, just reading this story and uh, reading on the the, uh, the downfall of King Saul and, and the uh, upliftment of King David, you know, you see that um, in this, at this, it's at this particular point, like we read, the Spirit of the Lord came, it comes upon David from that day forward and it departs from Saul because he was disobedient. And uh, David still went through situations, ups, downs. He made mistakes, but he always remained humble. And, uh, you know, he, his works are written. You know, his works are written for everyone to see as a memorial, for as a, as a uh, loyal servant to the Heavenly Father. But um, yeah, this is very important because you have uh, a lot of people waking up, you know, at, at, at before the storm hits, before, you know, Esau's military and all of this, you know, the uh, technolo technological advancements and all, all the warfare begins, you know, a lot of people waking up because they're seeing like, well, hey, wait a minute, you know, no matter who's in charge, it's still deception. All right, and um, we want to be in the lot of King David where the Spirit of the Lord continues to deal with us until the end. All right, we want to be in that lot. And, you know, when you become born again and that Spirit enters into you, you know, it's very important to continue to grow, continue to, to um, remain humble. <clears throat> Right, because like it was told of King David, verse in verse 7, verse 7, 16 and 7, but the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the, and, and this is this is who's talking about his brother. It says, Because I have refused him, for the Lord seeth not as a man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance. But the Lord looketh on the heart. And that's the thing about the Lord. He looks at your mind. What What is going on through your mind? What What, what things do you act upon? Are you actively seeking him? Or are you actively praying, praying? You know, you have a lot of prayers in the scriptures. You have a lot of psalms. Are you actually reading? Do you actually know, you know? Very important, you know. Hey, hey when the uh, apostles were, were uh, talking, and they were saying, "Well, which one, which one of us is going to sit on the highest throne?" And basically, Yahweh Shai told him, "You, you got to be like this little child." You know, and that's regardless of what age you are. You know, and it's a process too. It's not a it's not an overnight thing. We have to go through what we have to go through. All right, this is all the path. This is that that straight path. That that that's yeah. You know, we we go on the straight path and hope for the things wide. They go on the wide path, and they're gonna receive things that are straight. <laughs> you know, it's funny like that. And it's also written. He said, the Heavenly Father said, I, "You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you." So it's the Lord who ultimately woke us up. So you can't get proud, you know. This is a yoke. This is this is a, a rebirth. This is a chance for us to get it right with the Lord guiding us. You know, this is uh, Romans thirteen, 
And we have to remain appreciative to be in this seat. You know, because because many men have come before us. This is Romans 13 and 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the work of darkness and let us put on the arm of light. Matter of fact, let's read above verse 11. And knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. We really have a chance after all of this, after all of the, you know, we go through Esau's programming and his bullshit. All of the programming, the bullshit, the lies, the covering cast. And uh, the Lord has woken us up. Yeah, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord actually is dealing. He turned his back on us. But he said, I will not make a full end of thee. You know, I think about that. Like, if the Lord did, wasn't dealing with us, man, we'd be done. You know, and that's why Esau is in, is, is in such an uproar. Which right now, you know, they're feeling good, feeling great. But we already know what's coming next. The pride. All right, the, 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 the lockdowns. The false science, all the, all of these different things, and this time they about to they about to really, like the scriptures say, if, if at all possible, they would deceive the very elect. So you know it's gonna be some bullshit, you know. So very important, man, to to continue on, you know, as a as a new as, what do you say, as a newborn child. And you know, the thing about children, children are teachable, children are malleable. It's not till you get older, you know, you think that you know everything. You know, you go through a couple of trials and shit. I know everything. Now, you might know something, but it's always details for you to learn. It's always details. All right, verse 13, let us walk honestly as in the day. Not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. So a lot of those bad habits and bad characteristics, you have to put those away. But put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. And that's the, that's the, 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 the top battle you're going to have is with yourself, with your own flesh. All right, with your own self, your own mind. So, remember, man, not the same person. Certain things, you know, I might have thought this way or I might have experienced that. But did you experience it? And this is, this is why you have elders over you because it said those whose uh, senses are exercised. Did you experience it? With the spirit of the Lord, did you experience it and apply the scriptures? Because the scriptures also say what? Wisdom shall meet you at every thought, you know, when, when, when the Lord is dealing with you. You know, and that's important. Before in the world, wisdom didn't meet, meet us at every thought. I know for me it didn't. There's a lot of situations I've replayed like, man, I could have, if I would have went this route, I would have been more successful. All right, but... There are no redos. You went through that situation because you were supposed to. You know, and now is the chance to get it right. So, Lord willing, this is edifying. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shimon Shai. Shalom to the elect.